Okay guys, in today's video, I am going to show you how to make cream chipped beef gravy. So let's jump right on in. I know, oh, that's so great, it's funny. Susan. Yeah. Hold on just a second for me, please. Yeah. They did it again. What? They did it again? Oh, come on. Oh. All right, but you know what? That's why I am my own maid. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Hi guys, Susan here. I am my own maid and in today's recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make dry beef gravy. Some people know this as cream chipped beef. Some people eat it over biscuits with eggs. Some people eat it with mashed potatoes. Some people eat it on toast. Whatever's gonna float your boat, that's great. We're gonna show you how to make the gravy. So the first ingredient you're gonna need, of course, is this meat. Now they do sell it in the jar, but this is the kind we've always used. I have two packages here, and I have sliced this up into smaller pieces, if you can see. See this, okay? Set that aside. All right, so you're going to need one third cup a butter or margarine, your choice. You're going to need about a quarter of a cup of water, and you're also going to need some cornstarch. And the amount of cornstarch is gonna vary depending upon how much water you actually get in here, but I will show you that as we go through the video. All right, guys, so the first thing I did was turn on my burner to medium high. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the inside with some cooking spray because it makes for an easier cleanup. All right, and then I'm gonna take my third a cup of butter or margarine, and then I'm going to go ahead and let it start melting down. All right. And while that's melting down, I also forgot to mention to you that we are going to be using some salt and pepper, but those are to taste, guys, okay? All right. I'm going to go ahead and down, turn it down slightly here. All right, to that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in my dried beef, okay? And I'm using the buttered beef. I'm gonna get a good stir and remove that. All right, now I'm gonna let this brown up a little bit inside here. We're gonna let the, uh, let the meat brown. Um, I'll bring you back and show you what I do next. Alright everybody, my beef is feeding all nice. Up. You see inside there a little bit that uh, it's cooking. So I'm just going to let that come to a nice heat and warm up the milk and then I will show you how to make the cornstarch slurry to add to your milk to make the gravy thicker. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to make a slurry. So we're using cornstarch in this, so for the gluten free people, this is a really good way to make gravy, okay? 
So it's cornstarch, and the idea of a slurry is you just make it so that it's kind of smooth, not chunky, All right? So I'm gonna slowly add some cornstarch in and start stirring it. And remember, I have a, a quarter of a cup of water there, and I'm gonna need a little bit more. So this is about two heaping tablespoons of cornstarch, right? So I'm just gonna stir this up with my fork. You can see it's still a nice, almost looks like milk inside here, but it's cornstarch and water. All right, now I'm gonna be adding this slurry into my gravy. So let's do that next. Okay, so we made the slurry and now we're gonna add it into the gravy. I'm gonna take my fork, I'm gonna turn it down the pan down a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stir this up. All right, and I might need to make a little bit more slurry. Remember, you can always add more. You can't take things back out of your recipe. So we started out with about two heaping tablespoons of cornstarch to a quarter cup of water. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let that cook down for a few minutes and we'll see how thick the gravy gets. All right guys, so we're checking back in on the gravy. See, it's still a bit thin. So I need another two tablespoons of the cornstarch with the cold water. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. I'm just gonna stir that in. Thicken. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we can see here it's starting to thicken. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and add some salt and pepper. Remember, this is to taste, so I don't put in over amount of salt. I would say I put in about a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper because people can always add more when they get this on their plate. Alright, see, it's starting to take on a nice nice uh, thickness to it all right so we made some biscuits so i'm going to come back and show you how this looks when it is plated up all right guys so we have the meal ready give you a nice view of the gravy it's nice and thick but not too thick and on this plate i have two eggs that are cooked over easy and some biscuits. So all I'm gonna do is add the gravy to the biscuits. And there we go. All right. There you go, guys. That is cream chipped beef gravy over biscuits with eggs. And that is a nice meal. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for more recipes. I'll see you in the next one, guys.